Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up a free Radius server on Amazon Web Services along with the Dalo Radius graphical user interface. To get started, we need to create a new EC2 virtual machine. Now for that, simply click on the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here, simply click on continue to subscribe. After that, you will be brought to this subscription page. From here, simply click on accept terms and then wait for the subscription validation process to fully complete. Now once the subscription validation process is done, simply click on continue to configuration. After that, choose the AMI, the software version and the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Once that is done, simply click on continue to launch. After that, you will be brought to this web page which actually asks you from where to launch the EC2 instance. Now you can choose this website to launch the EC2 instance from or you can go over with the EC2 management console. So I'm going to change this from launch from website to launch through EC2 and then click on the launch button. Now that is going to open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. Now within this tab, you can basically customize your EC2 instance. So give yourself a deployment name. So I'm just going to call this one as Radius. After that, scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. Once that is done, you can choose the instance type of the virtual machine according to your requirements. After that, scroll down and choose a key pair by creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. Remember that this is the key pair that we would be using to connect to our virtual machine using an SSH connection. Once you're satisfied with the settings, simply click on launch instance. After that, wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our EC2 instance using an SSH connection. Now for that, simply click on instances and then click on your newly created virtual machine and then click on connect. After that, you will be brought to this page from where you need to click on the SSH client tab and then copy this command and paste it inside either a command prompt or a PowerShell. After that, you need to replace this path for the path of your private key. Now once that is done, simply hit enter and then once you prompt it, simply type in yes and then hit enter once more. And after a while, you will be inside the SSH service of your newly created EC2 instance. Now we can start setting up our free Radius server along with the Dalo Radius GUI. Now to follow along with this tutorial, you can simply click the link in the description box to come to this blog post which contains all of the commands and the processes that I am going to perform within this tutorial. To start off, we are going to start with the secure installation of MySQL. Now for that, simply type in the command sudo space MySQL hyphen secure underscore installation and then hit enter. After that, it is going to ask you for the current password for root and currently it is blank. After that, you can go along with the secure installation process which you want. So basically set up a password for the root user and go along with the other options that you are provided with. Now once that is done, you need to actually set up a new database for free radius and to assign a specific password for that particular database. Now to do that, we are going to open up MySQL shell. Now to open up the MySQL shell, simply type in the command sudo space mysql space hyphen u and then root and then hyphen p simply hit enter and then the type in the password for the root user for mysql now once you're inside the mysql shell or mariadb shell you're going to go over to the blog post and copy all of these command to create a new database now as you can see that this is the name of the database as radius and this is the password that we are going to attach to this particular database so if you want to give a different database name or different database password then simply replace these fields Anyways, copy this command and paste them inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. Now you have successfully created your database with a strong password. Now the next step is to actually import the free radius database schema into our database. Now for that, first of all, we need to stop the service of free radius. So for that, simply type in the command sudo space systemctl space stop and then free radius. After that, we can confirm this by checking the status of the service. So sudo systemctl then status and then free radius and then hit enter. So as you can see that the current active status is as inactive. Now to import the database schema, the very first step that we're going to do is to switch over to the root user. For that simply type in the command sudo space su space hyphen and then hit enter. Type in the password and you will be inside the root user. After that, simply copy this command to actually copy the schema and then paste that command inside our SSH terminal. Type in the password for MySQL and then hit enter. Once that is done, you have successfully copied the schema inside the database that you have just created. Now to confirm this, we are going to simply run this command to show the table of radius. Type in the password for the database and then hit enter. And as you can see that tables inside the radius database are the schema that we wanted to copy. Well, now once that is done, the next step is to configure the free radius SQL module. Now the very first step is to actually create a soft link with the SQL module. For that simply copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. 
After that, we want to make some changes to the configuration file. For that, we are going to open up the configuration file with the nano editor and then hit enter. Now within this configuration file, the very first thing that we are going to change is the dialect. So we are going to change the dialect from SQLite to MySQL. After that, we are going to scroll down and then we are going to basically uncomment this driver which has the word dialect inside it. At the same time, we are going to comment out this driver which does not contain the dialect. After that, we want to disable the TLS support for MariaDB. Now to do that, we are going to head inside this section that says MySQL and then we are going to comment everything out inside this section. Or I should say, everything inside the TLS section. After that, we are going to set the MariaDB connection info. So scroll down to connection info and first of all uncomment server, port, login and password. And then make sure that the server is set to localhost, port is set to 3306, login is set to radius and the password is the password that you have attached with your newly created database which in my case is this one. Now once that is done we are going to scroll to radius database and we are going to make sure that the name of the database is set to the name of the database that we have created. After that we are going to search for read clients. Now to search simply hit ctrl and w and then this search bar would appear and then type in read underscore clients and then hit enter. Now you are going to uncomment this command and make sure that it is set to yes. At the same time make sure this command client table is uncommented and set to nas. Now once that is done we are basically done with this configuration file. So simply hit ctrl o to save the changes and ctrl x to exit from this configuration file. After that we need to change the group permission of the sql module. For that simply head over to the blog post, copy these two commands and paste them inside the ssh terminal and then hit enter. After that we need to start the service of free radius. Now to start the service simply type in the command sudo space system ctl star space free radius dot service and then hit enter. After that you can verify that the service has been started by simply typing in the command sudo system ctl status and then free radius. So as you can see that the active status is actually set to active which means that it is running. Now at this point your free radius is set up on Amazon. Now the next thing that you are going to do is actually download and set up Dalo Radius which is a graphical user interface for free radius. Now for that we are going to head over to the blog post, create a new folder using this command and then download the Dalo Radius using this command and once the downloading process is done we are going to unzip it using the unzip command and lastly we are going to simply use the move command to create a copy of our Dalo Radius. After that we are going to head inside the directory of Dalo Radius. Now within this Dalo Radius, the very first step that we want to do is import the database schema for Dalo Radius inside the database. Now for that simply copy this command of the blog post, head over to the SSH terminal, paste in the command, hit enter, type in the password for the database and then hit enter once more. Now you have successfully imported the database schema for Dalo Radius as well. Now to verify this simply type in the command mysql show and then radius database and then hit enter and as you can see that the dollar radius dictionaries or tables have also been added to the database. Now the next step is to actually set up the configuration file for dollar radius. Now to set up this configuration file we already have a file named as dollar radius.conf.sample and we want to make a duplicate of it with the name being dollar radius.configuration. Now for that simply copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal. Once you have done that you need to open up that configuration file to make some changes using the nano editor. For that simply copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal and your file would open up in the nano editor. Now within this file we are going to basically scroll down to this configuration values and then we are going to make sure that the values of the database user, database password and the database name are set according to our configuration. So in my case the database user is radius. The password is this one and the database name is also radius. Now once that is done you can basically save and exit from this configuration file so simply hit ctrl o hit enter and ctrl x to exit from this file. Now the next step is actually to change the configuration or the ownership of this dalo radius folder. So for that simply copy these three command one by one and paste them inside the ssh terminal. And the last command is actually to restart the service of free radius and apache 2. Now once that is done your dalo radius graphical user interface is also set up along with free radius. Now to confirm this we are going to open up the login page for dalo radius. Now to do exactly that simply head over to the ec2 management console click on instances click on your instance to get this information copy this public ipv4 address and paste it inside a new tab follow it up with dalo radius another forward slash and then login.php and then hit enter. 
Now that is going to open up this login page for Dialo Radius. So the username is administrator and the password at the current moment is Radius. You can change the password later on. Anyways, type those credentials in and then simply click on this button that says login please. And you would be inside the dashboard for Dialo Radius. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you want to set up the authentication for LDAP or Active Directory, then you can check out the documentation linked in the blog post. Other than that, we also have solutions for user reporting tools which is Infra SOS. So you can check out Infra SOS from the link in the description box as well. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And if you have learned anything new with this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.